I never know when you're gonna need to release an emergency video. Emergency video alert! So let's next. install some shit. Hey, go Joe. So the uh, atom has finally arrived, so we're gonna try installing it. Propellers, probably. Yep. Yeah. Vitrazi. Oh, very nice. Carbon fiber. Going to the Vitarati throttle. Probably the reduction drive. Propeller mounting plate. Four bolts. And uh, this is the spark plug cover. This is the spark plug. Okay. Gear oil for the reduction drive. So this is the gearbox, if you know what I mean, okay. to keep that. And to keep that to the side. This is the dude. The dude. Oh. Upside. So shiny. Just a quick disclaimer, we're not approved paramotor mechanics or installers or anything, we're doing it at our own risk. If you do this yourself, you should do your own research. One thing we both did actually is to read the user's manual, both top to bottom and the installation manual top to bottom. So we're just documenting how we did it so we can learn and share with you guys. And so we can always do a better one at the end. Good, let's go. Let's build. Let's build. Build. So I think first thing to do is obviously it's going to mount to this, so we need access to the back of these bolts. That little crank noise is very satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. Right, Jem, let's go fly. Woo! <laughs> Done. So these are just tight fitted in place and not torqued yet, just to make sure everything fits and we're in the right holes. Uh, even though it doesn't sit on the manual, just for a bit of peace of mind, I'm gonna use the uh, Loctite 243 medium, the blue one, on these bolts, because these are the only four bolts holding the motor in place. So I'm gonna fit them on and then once they're all almost there, I'm gonna torque them, so. This is so that we can tell if they loosen. Yeah. So you can tell if they move. And I'm trying to put the mark in a place that it's easier to see. Next, spark plug. It comes with a little plug here, Jim. To make sure nothing goes in. This yes. should be... The gap on that should be good from the factory. I think I have some feeler gauges downstairs, but this is new, so... Put it all the way down. And then you can grab the right thing for that. Is it a 21? Yeah. So m most people just put it by hand, but because it's our first time and to feel what it's what it's like. 25 meters and meters we just because it has to has to be enough to crush that washer. That gives you the compression. There you go. That should be that done. Next thing in the installation manual is just to make sure there's no more than 70 centimeters from the bottom of the tank to the top of the carburetor. I know this is really lame, but what, which one's the carburetor? That's the carburetor. This is the airbox, just has like a hole here, an air filter and a hole there. This feeds air into the carburetor. We'll get fuel into here. Okay. And then from here, it shoots the air and fuel mixture into the engine. So I'm not sure what the best routing for this pipe is, but, oh, actually, you know what? That's not gonna be long enough. Oh no. That's not long enough for it. So we're gonna have to find some more pipe. So we can't do the carburetor line. We can't do the throttle cable because we don't have the throttle in yet. And next is the starter cable. On routing options, it comes with this uh, like uh, kind of bearing here, but I just don't see how that's the right thing to do. This should come up straight from here, which means we'd have to have a pulley here, but we don't, we only have this one. So it might rub a little. Like that needs to be here on this side. Yeah, I think we might take that off because that might be for 
another engine. That seems like the right thing to do. Always read the manual. They ship it with loads of rope. Adjust it so that when your thing's in place, the white mark is right there. Already sounds like it wants to start. So that's done. Production drive, this is a 3.8 to 1. Just like car gearboxes, you can't fill them. Otherwise, there's so much oil, there's a lot of drag. So there has to be enough oil about halfway so that it splashes, but there's enough air. So you drain it from by taking this plug off, and then you put it back on, and you fill it from the top until it comes out this hole, because it's a level. What's the next thing? We're missing some parts. We need a fuel line, a priming bulb, some clips to clip it to the frame, connect it to there, some hose clamps. And then we need to wire up the throttle, wire up the kill switch as well. Yeah. And then, and then we put the prop in it, then we put the fuel in it, and then maybe we start it. In the meantime, we're gonna install the reserve. So, Gonna disconnect the container first because it will be easier to work with this on the table. We're going to install the Angel Square V2 140, which should just about fit there. We have the short bridle, so we have to connect it to a wide bridle on this side. This is a 7mm C7 with a couple of O-rings to keep things in place. Make sure the uh, mouth lock will come out on its own, and you don't want it to be too big or too small. And always read the manual, but it does say that the handle should be attached to the middle not the ends. I need extra line, extra bridle here to be able to put the arm on and off through that, through the side, but we also don't want so much, so that's really flopping and getting everywhere. But this is the little Velcro that's gonna do that. That's why I got this really close to the table, so I could put it here provisionally, but I will probably pull it, it, pull it a little bit more once it's there. Side is going to go on, it's going to go on this side here. This guy goes on this side, and then just the finishing touch to keep it all neat. And all of these things should open nicely. And we, we've done this already before, but one th important thing to check is that if you pull on this, pull it out, make sure it all opens, and then do it again. See that? It's, the zip is fully covered. 
Nice. I couldn't do everything on myself. I, I had to get the uh, master here to help. So Ricardo, you're just telling me about the manual says don't put priming pumps in it. But if the fuel is all the way down here and all of this is full of air, how are we going to get it to the radi to the carburetor? Very old style. <laughs> you blow. <laughs> so you either have put a bit of pipe that you can blow on to pressurize the tank so the, the fuel goes up or you can put a priming pump. But the priming pump have some, has some problems. Because these engines uh, require a, a lot of uh, flux of fuel. Mm -hmm. So every time the fuel pass for something, they reduce the flux. Right, right, right. Okay, right. so yeah. it's, uh, it's a barrier, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. So uh, we avoid like people put valves, filter from motorcycle to remove all that crap keep it the most simple and stupid as possible okay <laughs> i like that that works At least that's one step forward. Just need to get the bolts to the propeller, the taco installed, and the throttle installed. It turns out it's really difficult to film and do something you're doing for the first time because with all this stuff, there's a lot of experimenting for your particular motor. On the Atom, the throttle cable goes to one side and the kill switch goes to the other side of the motor, so it's a bit annoying. If you want a really good tutorial on how to install the um, off-grid throttle in general, check out this link over here for the uh, aviator video neil did a really good job and i learned from him about standoffs You just take your spark plug off and you make sure that the outside is ground. Should be able to, yeah, so we have spark there. And if we hit the kill switch, now with the same input, we don't spark and no spark. So just attach the taco line there temporarily and I'm rooting it really jankly all the way to the, uh, the end of the throttle so that in the breaking in phase I can see uh, what uh, RPM we're running and then once that is done uh, I'll probably just stick it there on the side. We were both very upright and we were on the uh, last hole here so we decided to go for this one and I think I have about like a five degree angle and Gemma has a little bit more which is I think this feels all right not ideal uh, so I think what we'll do is I might fly it first but there's more room here for the arm and for connecting into the risers isn't it oh before it will back here and it will like too. too I couldn't even get my hands in it but we've gone forward three and then we're going to end up going back one i reckon so on to the break-in so when you're ready 
Yeah, it's 6,000 for four, right? Good helmets with a noise cancellation have come in yet, but we're going to use just these with then the helmet on top, just in case you see us with this, you don't think that we're getting full blast. Yet. So that's it, the breaking in of the engine is done, everything checked out, we did the full checklist that the manual recommends afterwards and everything seems to be working fine, next thing we have to do is fly it. So I want to say a big thank you to all of these people for supporting us on Patreon and YouTube memberships, also a huge thank you to Eric from Aviator and to Carlos from Liberty for getting us hooked up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you haven't already and obviously we'll be flying on the next one see, see you then see on the next one bye 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 do some do some barbell curls on that on that it's one handed gym i feel like i'm going to drop it and then yeah, this will be not. the worst video no, ever this will be like a really depressing